I did a glorious die, right as a morning in my, I feel like I could fly. Now, Bert, none of your knocking about. Have you ever seen the grass so green or a bluer sky? Oh, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. Mary makes your heart so light. You haven't changed a bit, have you? When the day is gray and ordinary, Mary makes the sun shine bright. Oh, honestly. Oh, happiness is blooming all around her. The daffodils are smiling at the dove. When Mary holds your hand, you feel so grand. Your heart starts beating like a big brass band. <laughs> you are light-headed. It's a jolly holiday with Mary. No wonder that it's Mary that we love. It's a jolly holiday with Mary. Mary makes your heart so light. When the day is grey and ordinary, Mary makes the sun shine bright. Oh, happiness is blooming all around her. The daffodils are smiling at the dove. When Mary holds your hand, you feel so grand. Your heart starts beating like a big brass band. <laughs> it's a jolly holiday with Mary. No wonder that it's Mary that we Oh, it's a jolly holiday with you, Bert. Gentlemen like you are few. A vanishing breed, that's me. Though you're just a diamond in the rough, Bert. Underneath your blood is blue. Common knowledge. You'd never think of pressing your advantage. Forbearance is the hallmark of your creed. True. A lady needn't fear when you are near. Your sweet gentility is crystal clear. Oh, it's a jolly holiday with you, Bert. A jolly, jolly holiday with you. Now, 
Now then, what had been nice? We'll start with raspberry ice, and then some cakes and tea. Order what you will, there'll be no bill. It's complimentary. You're very kind. Anything for you, Mary Poppins. You're our favourite person. Right you are. It's true that Livus and Sybil have ways that are winning, and Prudence and Gwendolyn said you're spinning. Phoebe's delightful, Maud is disarming. Janice? Felicia? Lydia? Charming. Cynthia's dashing, Vivian sweet, Stephanie smashing, Priscilla a treat. Veronica? Agnes? And Jane? Convivial company, Diamond again. Dorcas and Phyllis and Clintus resorts. I'll agree with we jolly good sports, but cream of the crop, tip of the top, is it's Mary Poppins and there we stop. Watch for the big bird. Oh, 
Holmes is here, Mary Poppins, winning the race. Oh, well, I... Can you fame and fortune? Yes. Um, your picture taken in the newspaper. Oh, uh, naturally, I'm delighted. Besides having your extreme good enough, if I may say so. Oh, oh well, I wouldn't go. There probably aren't words to describe your emotion. Now, 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 gentlemen, please. On the contrary, there's a very good word. Am I right, Bert? Tell him what it is. Right. It's super califragilistic, expialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you're always sadly cautious. Super califragilistic, expialidocious. <laughs> Because I was afraid to speak, well I was just a lad. My father gave me down a tweak and told me I was bad. But then one day I learned a word that saved me ain't a nose. The biggest word you ever heard, and this is how it goes. Oh, super kind of it's even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Super kind of He'd use his word and all would say, there goes a clever gent. When you and Martin Rogers pass a time of day with me, I say me special word and then they ask me off the tea. Super Backwards, which is docious, alley, expiistic, fragicali, rufus, but that's going a bit too far, don't you think? So when the cat has got your tongue, there's no need for dismay. Just summon up this word, and then you've got a lot to say. But better use it carefully, or it could change your life. For example, uh, yes. One night I said it to me girl, and now me girl's me wife. Wow, oh, and a lovely thing she is too. <laughs> she is
Aye, aye, sir. City levels! Give them a paw! Empty those shot lockers! Aye, aye, sir! Move along, Miss Medical, handsomely now! Teach the beggars a lesson! Gun ready, sir. Stand by! Fire! were easy. Most were extreme, and others, you still haven't figured out how they were done. Just like the Banks kids, you can't believe your eyes. Let's discover the secrets behind the movie magic of Mary Poppins. So much magic, so little time. For Mary Poppins, Walt Disney and his dream team pulled all kinds of movie-making wizardry out of their bag of tricks. First law of movie special effects? Create a world where all the magic can happen. Can you believe that the filmmakers didn't even try to make the sets look real? They wanted the sets to look like they were straight out of a Broadway stage show, not a realistic movie. Talk about on-screen enchantment. Master artist Peter Ellenshaw whipped up over a hundred matte paintings to help bring this real, unreal fantasy world to life. I mean, it's unreal. Is that so? To fill the world of Mary Poppins, magical props were created. You don't fool me a bit. Oh, really? Yes, really. There's even an audio animatronics figure. Just like at all the Disney theme parks around the world. Pour a spoonful of sugar, helps the medicine go down. The medicine. What's audio animatronics, you ask? Well, Walt Disney called it three dimensional animation. This way cool technology uses sound, that's the audio part, to electronically cue the action of the figure. Audio plus electronics plus animation equals audio animatronics. Get it? the Disney movie makers kick special effects up a notch with stop-motion animation. Stop. I bet you're wondering what stop-motion animation is. You've seen it in movies like The Nightmare Before Christmas. The animator moves something, like a puppet or a toy soldier, a little bit at a time and takes a picture each time. When you run the film, it looks like the thing is moving all by itself. But just how did they get the nursery to tidy itself up? For those Disney wizards, it was a snap. They just ran the film backwards. Thanks to what movie makers call wire work, things really got off the ground. The wire work made the performers soar, sail, and gallop. No actors were hurt in the making of this movie magic. But coming down to earth could be tricky. I just like laughing, that's all. <laughs> After one take, the crew took off for lunch and accidentally left the actors hanging around on those wires. And a proper tea it is too. Ready for more celluloid sorcery? How about live actors in a cartoon world? Take that orange background to some wild wallpaper? Think again. It's called a sodium vapor process screen. When actors are filmed in front of the orange screen, the camera picks up everything except the orange. Boom, it's gone. Then, the movie makers can put in any background they want. The most magical use of this process has got to be mixing live actors with cartoon characters. 
When it came to special effects smarts, Walt Disney was the man. He'd been putting people into animated worlds since his earliest silent cartoons. Walt kept improving this special way of combining reality and fantasy. The ultimate use of this awesome technique? Mary Poppins has a jolly holiday inside a chalk sidewalk drawing. Ever wonder how the live action animation combo is done? The whole thing is jump started with storyboards. All the action is thought out in a series of drawings. Very kind. Anything for you, Mary Poppins. You're our favorite person. Right you are. It's true that Primus and Sybil have ways that are winning, and Prudence and Gwendolyn said to our spinning. Phoebe's delightful, Maud is disarming, Janice? Felicia? Did you? Charming! Then, the live actors are filmed on simple sets in front of the sodium vapor screen. Using photos of the live action as reference, the animators go to work. Once everything is in sync, the animation is finished up in full color. And the live action is added in for some eye-popping Mary Poppins magic. The movie makers love to mix and match their motion picture illusions. Check out Uncle Albert's tea party on the ceiling. Sure, there was wire work and the sodium vapor screen. But those Disney movie magicians also used this gizmo that made the actors bob up and down in midair. You made that up. I know. <laughs> and they even used sets where the floor was the ceiling. Oh, good. Such behavior. <laughs> Just when your eye gets used to one kind of magic, the movie makers cast another spell. to send our imagination story. Whoops, don't you two start? Come back down here. All these different movie-making techniques add up to one thing. A complete world of fantasy. Mary Poppins is movie magic to the max. There's really only one word to describe it. There's no such word. On the contrary, it is a very good word. Tell them what it is. You guessed it. Supercar. You know, you can say it backwards, which is docious alley ex fiestic fragicali rufus, but that's going a bit too far, don't you think? You bit of supercalifragilistic ex fiestic Hope no one asked me to spell it. What? Supercalifragilistic ex fiestic Yes, well done, you said it. When I got the script, I read it and I'd heard the song, The Fiduciary Bank. And I just saw myself doing that character. <laughs> I went to Walt, I said, it'll be no extra charge, just uh, it's complimentary. And Walt said, sure, go ahead and do a test. He was that easy about it. And he liked it and I got to do it. <laughs> I had to come in very early to get that on. I remember taking about two hours, two hours every morning. I had to be careful at lunch because I couldn't mess up my beard. by a chimpanzee it's an oddish place where the human race is under lock and key and on their backs they wear small plaques for the animals to view which specify the reasons why they're locked in the chimpanzee if you're boisterous and bumptious you're grist for the chimpanzee if you're overly rambunctious you're whisked to timbuktu Loss, loss, nothing but loss, but you know who's laughing at who? It's the animals there who giggle and stare at you in a chimpanzee.
Never play the music halls in all your wildest dreams. But Billow and Blast and the Chip Fan Zoo and the animals burst their seams. It takes a lot of talent and time to become a West End attraction. But in this place, one rude grimace gets a marvelous reaction. Laughs, laughs, nothing but laughs. But you know who's laughing at who? It's the animals there who giggle and stare, gape with glee incredulously at the boisterous, bumptious, rowdy crew. At you in the Chip Fan Zoo. Always leave them laughing, they say. Thank you.